guys, I love you so much. So today I'm going to be getting a tattoo right here. I thought it would be cool if I did a video on showing you guys the like entire process of getting a tattoo. So the healing portion of it and the itchiness that it causes. So yeah, it's gonna be a whole week long of me getting the tattoo, watching it heal, and um, the final look of it. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. It's the next morning after getting that tattoo. So once you went to your tattoo artist and the tattoo is done, they shall put this stuff on it. It's called Sanoderm. Now all this is blood and ink, so you'll have little like little ink sacks in it. <laughs> now online it says to keep this on for three days, but um, my tattoo artist always says eight to ten hours. Bruh, this is like ink and blood, but that kind of looks fucking sick. It looks like it's like dripping. I feel like if you have any questions about your tattoo, you should always ask your tattoo artist instead of like the internet because they know what's best for you. So the way you're supposed to take this off is in the shower and um, you peel it up and you do it very slowly and then you wash it and stuff. So I'm gonna go do that right now. I'm gonna go take a shower and then I'll see you when I get out of it. Also, I got something else. All right, so then when you get out of the shower, it's gonna be all pretty. It's still pretty fresh, so you wanna make sure they don't really touch it too, too much. But if you do touch it, just make sure your hands are completely clean and everything and wash them with soap really good. So now we're gonna use this, it's cleansing soap, and we are gonna just rub it on this tattoo and make sure it's all clean. Again, before any time you touch your tattoo or put anything on it, wash your hands. Also, the water that you use can be a little bit warm. You don't want it really hot, and I don't think you want it really cold either, so maybe just like room temperature is good. And then to dry your tattoo, you get a clean paper towel and just dab it like this. You don't want to like scrape it and stuff. You just want to like dab it. All right, so after that, your tattoo should be all good, and um, just make sure you don't really like bump it on anything because it's still fresh so you can kind of still feel the pain a little bit. <laughs> just be really careful. And now what's next is the healing process. So it's going to start like peeling. It's going to turn gray a little bit more. And um, yeah. The peeling process should begin in like two to three days. So I will see you guys when it starts peeling and we'll see what it looks like. I want to show you guys the aftercare stuff that I got. So you can buy these off of Amazon or you can buy them off of Walmart. So there's a box that looks like this and it has a bunch of aftercare stuff for your tattoo. And it comes with all of this stuff, plus this little tattoo goo. So it comes with sunscreen for your tattoo, a cleansing soap, and a lotion. And this lotion is kind of the same thing as this, but this is just like a lotion version of it. But with the goo, this bitch says it don't clog pores, but don't use too much of this. You're only supposed to put it on twice a day, one in the morning and one at night. And the thinnest little amount, you don't need a lot at all, because if you put too much, it will clog your pores, trust me. So yeah, if you want your tattoo to heal really nice and keep it really black and the color is solid, that stuff is really good. Also, you guys wanna see my new one? Look how pretty. All right, I'll see you guys when this one starts to peel a little bit. Three days later. So it's been a couple days and my tattoo is starting to peel. So this is what it looks like when it peels. It's very crusty, musty, dusty, rusty, you know. So your tattoo should be all good as long as you keep applying the tattoo goo stuff just twice a day. And uh, yeah, dude. Also the past couple days, I've been editing my music video coming out soon. Here's a little sneak preview. Things you put tomorrow. All right, so now the tattoo's pretty much done peeling. Maybe just a little bit more parts left. I feel like this is self-explanatory, but do not pick it. Even if you want to, don't do it. 
So this is what it looks like. It gets pretty scabby and scaly. And I'll kind of look weird like this for a couple days, but that's just the name of the game. So yeah, just keep washing it and keep putting your stuff on it and do your whole little routine thing. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. All right, so this is her completely healed. It's been about a week and a half, kind of. And she looks amazing, we love her. You could tell when it's healed when you put your hand over it and you stop um, feeling it. Like it just feels like skin now because it's a part of you forever. So hell yeah. I have so many now, this is crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much. And if you're looking for a sign to get a tattoo, this is your sign to get a tattoo. <laughs> yeah, basically aftercare is like, I feel like the most important part into getting one. So just make sure you take care of it. And this one healed great, by the way. She's beautiful. So yeah, I hope this helped you. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you so much.